Alleluia, alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established and the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. And when I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, and when I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there, I, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Still a very smoky morning. Very smoky today. And still be days after. And we are our reflection today for our gospel is about correction. Or terna correction. The Lord said to his disciples, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. So we reflect on this line first. The first stage of the interaction. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. So the act of telling the fault is not about in our modern day expression of I told you so. <laughs> I told you so. See? I am right, you're wrong. That is not the way to approach. That is not the way to approach. I told you so. I am right, you're wrong. Or they are right, you're wrong. Is tell him his fault between you and him alone. What's the, what's the, what's the purpose? To win over. To win over. So if you if he listens, you have won over your brother. So the purpose is to win over, not to judge, not to say you are at fault, not to say you are you are mistaken, but to win over. And so this is the challenge of the Lord for us today in in his command to love. So I've done that correction. It's part of loving and forgiving. To forgive and to love is to win over our brother, not to judge, not to condemn. Amen. Amen. Amen.